It opens for six days. Not a long time for the all-important business of dispersing its pollen and spreading its genes. It has to find its pollinator quickly, and it does by emitting a powerful, musty odor. An irresistible smell for one creature that, until recently, no one knew existed. And this is its TV debut. The tube-lipped nectar bat. A pool of delicious nectar lies at the bottom of each flower's long flute. But how to reach it? Necessity is the mother of evolution. This six and a half centimeter bat has almost a nine centimeter tongue. The longest relative to body length of any mammal in the world. If human, he'd have almost a three meter tongue. bat sates its desire for the high energy nectar, and the flower gets a courier for its pollen. As the bat reaches deeper into the flute, his head gets dusted. At the next flower, the transaction is complete. He alone is the sole pollinator of this plant. Without him, the flower simply wouldn't exist. <laughs> 